Hi. This video is going to be on what type of glue to use if you're making a scrapbook or mini album. I've only been scrapbooking or actually playing with paper for a little over two years. On the grand scheme of things, I am pretty much a baby. So I'm a baby crafter, however you want to look at it. But ever since I started, I've always wondered what is the best type of glue for me to use. I didn't know if it was supposed to be a tape runner. Pick one, any one, glue dots, uh, an ATG gun, liquid glue, score tape. I really didn't know and I always asked and everybody had their well this is what I like to use it, this is my favorite but my question was really which one was going to stand the test of time and as far as time goes no I cannot let you know because I've only been paper crafting for two years I did my first scrapbook in March of 2013. Prior to that I'd only been making cards. And this would be it. A little travel mini to show your vacations. This one I used Scotch Quick Dry. When I took the class I had my ATG gun and the instructor let me know she really wanted me to look use liquid glue. So, she had an extra one and I bought it from her and that's what I used to make this. My next class, granted I have just pulled it apart, don't mind me, was this uh, French Country Rooster Cookbook that I did in June of 2013. <clears throat> they also recommended liquid glue. They recommended 3-in-1. Did I listen? No, because at this point, I'd been doing it for a little while, and my favorite was this. And which one? I just had it filled with this. So that's what I used. And then eventually I did an online course with Laura Dennison follow the paper trail and made this scrapbook and on this one I had used the three-in-one gave it a try gave it a go and score tape because people kept telling me how great score tape is if you're gonna do your binding gotta use score tape so today I started to make me a little Another version of this, but more me, like without the, the trim and with black distressing instead of the distressing they picked because, you know, I took a class, I did it their way, I didn't know any better. So none of this is me other than I love roosters, it's why I took a class. So I pulled it out and I got my little spatula and I stuck it underneath and I worked it and I got it up granted it didn't come off on its own but it really didn't take that much work so let me get one that I haven't touched and granted you have to work it a little bit but it comes up. This is the ATG tape runner. The ATG gun. And I fill it with the, the scotch tape that's supposed to go in it so it's not like it's cheap stuff. To me this will not stand the test of time. So because of this, I decided, well, wait a minute, 
let me check the first one I ever made and see if it comes up because it was the liquid glue. And this is before I knew anything about burnishing and making sure you get the glue to the edge because it was the first class I ever took. And the edges don't have glue, but when I try to get in there and I push, I hear it ripping. I don't know what if it's the cardstock or on top or the one underneath, but something's not happy about me pulling them apart. So this is definitely a go. This is this is the oldest one I have and it's not coming apart. Granted, it's only what March of 2013. A year and a half old, but it's a little bit older than the rooster one and this one is definitely holding together better and seriously I did not know about burnishing at the time and getting the, the glue to the edges and so I definitely won't be using my tape runner anymore when making a mini album now on this one I used score tape on my binding I used I did the, the stack the deck um, I got my my spatula in here I'm not real happy about that not at all granted it's taking some work yep it's separated um, Yeah, you can actually, it's almost like it, it, the, the score tape doesn't become one with the paper and the chipboard. I'm not sure. I hear that it doesn't ever fully dry, so that's probably the case. But everything else was glued down with three and one. And yeah, I can get to a certain point, wherever there's glue, yeah, it's not real happy about me trying to pull it up. So, um, this is a go. So, I, I do know from now on, I know it'll take longer on the binding even to do the liquid glue because you're going to actually have to, to glue it, sit something heavy on it and let it dry before bending it but if you want this to to be handed down from generation to generation liquid glue is the way to go because when you burnish it and you squish them together it's like that glue and that paper are becoming one um, so it's definitely the way to go. Oh, on this flower, if I made this maybe three years ago, two, three years ago, I used um, glossy accents because at the time everybody told me when you're doing embellishments and you're going to glue them onto your stuff, use glossy accents. It was just a few of the people that I knew at the time. I have tried to pull this apart. Yeah, it's not coming apart without ripping. Um, you can pull it apart, but it's not because the glue's not holding. It's holding, but you're literally tearing off a layer of paper. So this works too. So liquid glue is apparently the way to go. Before this, the only thing I'd ever used is Elmer's glue in grade school, so um, happy crafting. Thanks for watching.